share with my experience and perspective. It was a good conversation, obviously, it led to a series of conversations and then uh, to me being hired to come be part of his vision. So initially it was not a job interview? Oh, no, 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 I should be very clear about that. Yeah. Yeah. So what led you from a football background to want to be part? And I know there's some similarities in the yeah. front office and be a part of it, but what led you to basketball? Well, I've always had just a passion for the game, we probably just, just a bit ago, but it's been something that's been in my blood. If you go back a couple of generations, that's my grandfather coached at Kentucky State, uh, so he was across the town from Adolph Rock when they had those great teams, and uh, so it's been in my family. And, um, you know, for me to be able to, to have the opportunity to start a career in sports, I always felt learning was a great thing, and there's a lot of great things that basketball teams are doing that we weren't doing in football and could do better. Uh, so began to establish, you know, relationships with folks uh, on the business and team operations side um, and learn and watch and, and observe. But also at its core, I truly have a passion for the game of basketball in the NBA. And so uh, the opportunity to bring my skill set and do the things that are really, that I've had experience with and have an expertise in uh, with the ownership group like Monumental Sports and Ted and his partners is a tremendous opportunity that I'm really excited about. You have an expertise in law. Um, I assume you'll be doing CBA-related stuff and offering things on that. How how long does it take to become an expert on that specific document? Yeah, I think quite some time. I mean, you can always get better, even the NFL CBOs are always uh, trying to get better at it. Uh, luckily, we have a lot of that expertise in-house, and so I would kind of apply this comment generally to something that Ted said. I think the brilliance of his vision is that people often get locked into the notion that there has to be a choice. I'm going to do A or B. And Ted made a decision, we're going to do A and B. Um, so we're going to keep a lot of that expertise in-house, and Brett Greenberg, he's uh, got tremendous experience uh, and has made this really kind of his life's passion and work uh, and understands the CBA backwards and forwards and help uh, Ernie and Tommy on contract previous is still with us and, and in fact been promoted because of that expertise. Uh, but there are things that I'll add and certainly to the process and, and bring that experience as well. Visions can obviously change from year to year depending on results, but I guess what gave you comfort that, you know, knowing that this was the right opportunity for you to, I'm sure you wouldn't be here a while, so like, mm. what was the, what was, what gave you comfort in knowing that this was maybe a stable place or the right opportunity for you? Yeah, I mean, I hate to go into any job thinking yeah. about, you know, <laughs> that, that aspect sure. of it, but, but honestly, I think Ted, and I said this, there, Ted and his partners have uh, put Monumental uh, in position to be one of the more respected ownership groups uh, across the world in sports, and they have a big platform uh, that does require a lot of talent uh, to manage and to run, and so being able to combine my passion for basketball and my expertise in terms of as a sports executive, uh, the vast majority of my experience has been on business side, uh, but I've also uh, dovetailed that and, and had kind of a dual function on team operations probably the last eight or nine years of my career uh, with obviously a very concentrated role in Cleveland running the football operation. Uh, so bringing all that to the table, um, but being able to do it here in Washington uh, with an ownership group like Ted, working with Mike, uh, Scott, John, Tommy, tremendous opportunity. You work closely with Paul Vanessa in Cleveland, is that? Paul? Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. seeing what he did from coming from baseball to football, like does that make it, did it teach you anything about switching maybe from football to basketball? Is there anything you can take from that? Yeah, I think so. There, there's a lot more overlap than you, you think, and I talked about this before. You know, organizations and, and teams in certain leagues can get caught up in doing things the same way because they just do them the same way for so long. Uh, so fresh perspective is what I hope to bring. It doesn't mean that I'm going to have better ideas, but um, hopefully come up with the best ideas, no pride in authorship. Uh, but Paul's experience certainly has informed uh, a lot. You know, he's, he's, uh, I think of him as a brother for sure. Great man. Sasha, do you live here at D.C.? I do. Ironically, I was living here, which is one of the things that made the conversation with Ted um, easy and convenient. So I'm living right in Bethesda with uh, my wife and three kids.
if you, if you don't mind kind of uh, explaining some of, some of the topics of that first conversation. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much of that other than to say in terms of specifics, but I would say, uh, you know, Ted sharing what his experience has been across all of his franchises. Um, we talked about a host of things from, uh, you know, facilities and stadiums and revenues across leagues and CBA negotiations and athlete uh, engagement uh, to strategy and, um, you know, team building. So, um, you know, I, mean, I would leave it at that. It was a very robust, pretty lengthy conversation that he had to run out of to get to his next meeting. Uh, and we had a series of it, so very productive. When was that? Sorry. Do you, when was that? Was that? I would say it was sometime in May. Okay. I think. Yeah, with the, the first conversation we had. It did. How uh, how well do you know Tommy? How well uh, did you know Tommy? I didn't know Tommy very well, other than we have a bunch of people we knew in common. So I was able to do some diligence on him uh, quietly uh, with, with trusted folks, and um, and everybody spoke very highly. Of him. So anyway. yeah. you it officially announced. Today, mm -hmm. but they just had a draft process of the whole free agency period. It wasn't all. Not, not no, at all. No, 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 no. This not is even like, hey, we know this is going to happen. Do you yeah, have any no. No, I think Ted was pretty committed to being patient with this process um, and letting Tommy get through. I think they got to a point where they decided Tommy's going to run the draft and free agency, and they, they stuck to that. And that's, you know, I commend them for that. Do you and Tommy know how? I mean, you mentioned that Tommy was going to be a final say in basketball. Mm -hmm. Decisions, but do you and Tommy know how you're gonna divvy up things like overall philosophy and, and that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be driven by Tommy. I mean, we have, we truly have, you know, four di distinct franchises here, and um, you know, we're gonna rely on the folks that we've assigned to lead those franchises to make those decisions on roster philosophy overall. Uh, and you know, they'll lean on me for part of that. I'll help them kind of with their processes to the end that I can. Um, but that's going to be Tommy's decisions. Yeah, uh, within the vision of Monumental Sports and Ted, you know. So, Sash, so you were talking about when you were in football, seeing some things in basketball that you liked or thought maybe they did a little bit. I don't know if you used the word better. Yeah. Uh, what better. were some? Of, what were some of those things that you saw? You know, from that side of it, that the NBA did well. Yeah, I think you know player development for sure. Now it's easier because you have your guys longer and there's less of them, right? Um, sure. So you're not dealing with the roster of 70 or 75. Um, but I think certainly that's that's one of the things that we saw. We also thought that technology had been integrated by the league and by the teams uh, better than, than what we had seen in, in the NFL. Um, so so those are a couple examples, but there are a lot of different things that we learned and took from inside and outside sports as a discipline. You know, we love establishing timelines here. When did you, sure. when, when did you say yes to the job? Uh, it's in the last week, 10 days, you know, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And when did, wrap, when, wrap up, when did uh, the offer come in? Uh, I don't know, in the last week, 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> so like that. Yeah. 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 yeah.